to another video and if you're new welcome so today I received an item that this time I did purchase from Timu um, I apologize the last video I had done um, basically was telling you the alcohol pens markers that I bought they were from Shein not Timu um, I had a couple orders come in last week and I got all confused on what was what so anyways these are these were ordered from Savvy Land so I'm hoping that you can see this okay um, and I am, I haven't used these yet, so I thought it would be fun to kind of just do a little trial run. Um, they're for airbrushing, and there are 12 of these colors, and I am just um, shocked at how large the bottles are. I thought they would be a lot smaller, um, so I'm pleasantly surprised. Anyways, um, again, I'm just, okay, yeah, it's been a week, it's been a week. Um, anyways. I am going to try and just kind of see how these work in my airbrush and um, I have a couple few stencils that I've purchased. Um, these were from years back, years back, and they're off of Amazon. So I don't know what the link is and the airbrush itself um, is just adorable. Anyways, it too is off of Amazon and it was purchased, um, gosh, I don't know, maybe two years ago. And I wasn't, I, I didn't use it because I found mixing the ratio, the, the paint to thinner, or whatever you're using, acetone, whatever, um, was just kind of a pain in the butt. So these, um, when I found these and the price was fairly decent, um, they, you don't have to do any dilution. You just put drops in your little holder for your paint and then you airbrush. So um, I'm making it sound really simple and I'm hoping this isn't gonna be a tragic video. So <laughs> uh, without further ado, I am gonna just see how these work. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start off with, I gotta get the box out of the way, of course. Anyways, I have these tips and these are full coverage tips. Um, they're not going on anybody, they're not going anywhere they're just for decoration purposes so I'm gonna paint paint I'm gonna do a couple um, black and then a few of them I'm gonna do white and so I'm gonna get that going and then I'll figure out these might have seals on them they may not and maybe you can just jump right in and start using them so I'm gonna use Enel Couture 001 so this is a gel polish, and then the black will be Enel Couture's uh, 002. So these polishes, for the most part, work great with just one coat. Usually. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm not going to top coat them until they are done being airbrushed. So what I want to do is just test a couple of them to see how well it flows through the airbrush and the coverage that you get. And I'm feeling a little silly right now because I did not read the instructions that came with it, and I probably should. It says gel, so I'm assuming, which I know you shouldn't do, that you cure them once they're airbrushed. So as these cure, I'm gonna pull out the instructions and see what they say. When I purchased the airbrush, um, I got it mainly for like ombre nails. 
or French. And then later I purchased the, uh, mm -hmm, yeah, the designs to put on them and I cannot, stencils. I think I need to just go back to bed for about a week. And these are going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then I'm going to read the instructions to see what I am to do. Be right back. All right, so it's pretty self-explanatory. All we'll do is we've done the base colors on the tips, and then it just says that um, you need to pour in the fluid into the fluid cup, which is right here. And then, yeah, you cure them. So, that's what we're gonna do. And like I said, we're gonna pick a couple different colors and I have not decided just yet, or what I'm doing just yet, I should say. Okay, this hasn't been used for years, but I did, um, I charged it earlier in hopes of doing this. So, okay. And when you have this little cap, it protects the needle that you have on the airbrush. Um, make sure you take that off because if you give it air it'll shoot across the room and I'm lucky to have found that wasn't paying attention so um, again I'd, I'm not using this all the time so I'm hoping to use it more now that we have uh, paint that's going to be somewhat easy um, okay so let's start off with Oh, the label's a little wonky. Okay, I'm going to do dark gray. I'm going to see how this is. Okay. So it does come sealed, which is good. try really hard not to make a mess. I think the dark gray will look good on the black and the white. Okay. Just trying to get a majority of that off. And then, I'll shake it. Um, let's see here. I'm going to grab another paper towel. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, oh my gosh, why isn't this working? Okay, there we go. So this top part screws off. Okay, just going to add a little bit. And then I'm going to put this lid back on. Mm -hmm. I swear to you, I do not have these problems until I do uh, videos. And it's just, it sounds so silly, but I think it's still nerves, unfortunately. All right, so then we're going to turn this little guy on right after I find the power button. Okay. I'm thinking, hold on here. I'm thinking if I do that, it might come through 
not so messy. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's the first one. Get this through. I'm going to go ahead and put that one in the lamp. It says to cure for, um, oh my goodness, 60 seconds. So that's what we'll do. Okay. And then we're going to do the black one. And we'll just put it in this way. A little bit easier than trying to put it <laughs> the other way. I'm not sure what I was thinking. All right. So now I'm going to cure these both for the 60 seconds, and then I'll come back and I'll clean this out. All right, so I wanted to show you something. My nail hit this, and I got a nice scratch in there, and I was trying to just kind of go over it with the airbrush, made a bigger mess. So I want to show you, you've got that base coat on, the base color, I should say, not the base coat and it wipes right off. So I can start over again. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one in the lamp. And then I want to change colors. So let's see how easy this will be. Okay. So that seems to be fairly empty as far as the paint goes. Okay, and the cap is pretty clean. So I'm just gonna put a dab of acetone in there. Just like such. Okay, and then I'm going to run this through. I'm going to do that until I get a clear... There we go. And that's it. So that one's clean. Okay, as you can see on the inside. All right, and then, okay, let's pick a different color. I'm thinking like a red. Okay. So here's the red one. And then I'm thinking um, maybe some stencils would be fun. I've, I bought them, like I said, a couple years ago. I haven't used them, so I don't know how well it works, but I don't know if some of you remember back in the day, the airbrush nails, man, those were the thing. And I would like to think that maybe they're making a comeback which would be kind of fun. Okay, this is, mm-hmm. 
I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm thankful they're sealed. They don't come all leaky and everything. Okay, I'm going to call that good. And then I just love how that top cap comes off. And that's that. Okay, so... I'm just going to add a little red. Okay. And these two are done curing. Okay, they're borderline like looking graffiti-ish, but anyways. Put this cap back on. And I am not for certain how well the red's going to show up with the black, but we'll certainly give it a try. Okay. Let's see here. So I am going to try and find just something, something cute. Oh, let's try that. Okay. There's this little... There it is, little flower. It's like a little hibiscus. So I'm just going to put that on top right here. Okay, and I always... Okay, need to do that because I'm just like, mm, I don't want it to just spew right out. Oh my goodness, okay. So, and this I can clean with um, like a rubbing alcohol because it's gel, so it won't be cured until I put it in the lamp. So I like that color, but it seems more orangish than it does red. Okay, let's try another one. Like I said, they did this years ago, and they were so stinking fast. And I don't know, maybe some nail techs still do it that way. Oh my goodness, hold still. Okay. I gotta remember to put that other one in the lamp. Oop, that one's a little watery. So again, let's clean that off. Okay, so I'm just going to use rubbing alcohol. I'm not too sure if I'm fond of this color or not. I know that sounds awful. And maybe it's the design I picked. I don't know. I'm not going to finish that design, though. I don't like it. That and I'm, I think it works better if I can hold it down, maybe. Okay. So let's pick a different one now. Okay, maybe that leaf. Okay, I'm trying not to be heavy handed. Can't emphasize not <laughs> heavy handed. Okay, so that's kind of the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cure these these two for 60 seconds. These are, yeah, I don't know. Okay, and then I'll be right back. 
All right, so I got, I went ahead and I put acetone in this and we're just gonna clean this out again. Yeah, as you can see, that's been cleaned out. And then, so these have been cured. Okay, and then we'll pick another color. There is one, it's called Ocean Blue. So I wanna see how this one looks. I wanna go over that other white one. The way the gray went on that one doesn't look right. The black one's not so bad, but. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in the airbrush. Oop. Okay. And that one, like I said, that is called Ocean Blue. Okay, I've got a little bit of a mess going on. They seem super simple to work with, so I like that because I don't want anything that's going to be a pain in the butt. And I do like how easy they are to clean out. Okay. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do this white one. That looks a lot better than, I didn't do a very good job with the gray. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just set this in the lamp. And then this one, whoop, we did that. Come back and do this one in blue. And I just wanna do kind of like an ombre. I just wanna see how well this works. Okay, I like that blue. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I am just gonna cure these two for 60 seconds. And then I've got one white one left and I have to figure out what color I wanna use on that one. Okay. All right, so these two are done. I'm gonna do an ombre on this one and this one looks like it, le it needs a little more white so let's try this I think there's a white in this yeah. okay so there's a there's a white and then there's a light pink or nude um ba -ba -ba, maybe we don't want that one um hold on actually I'm wondering this is a peach pink, so I'm wondering, maybe what I'll do is I'll combine these two to get a pink. Um, 
to do my ombre with, but in, let's do this first. We're gonna put another coat of white on this. Uh-oh, this one's all ready to come off. And then I cleaned this out again with acetone, so that one is ready to go. And I'm just gonna put just a smidge of white in there. I don't need a whole lot. I just wanna put a second coat on that one. So, okay. Silly lid on. Okay, I had to get a new paper towel because the other one was filthy. Putting a slit in there. Okay. All right, and then this is gonna go in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so that one's got the white on it. And then, so I probably should have put the pink on first and then done the white. So this is gonna be kind of the opposite way I would do an ombre. And then we're going to add a little bit of the light nude. Actually, you know what? I'm wondering if maybe, it doesn't matter. Let's just do the nude. It's taking up a lot of time to get the safety seals off. Just trying to make sure that I'm not going to have any bits fall into that paint because I don't need that. Oops, I don't need that in my airbrush. Okay, and then I'm just going to wipe my fingers with us or uh, bleh, alcohol. Okay, and then we're going to put just a smidge. And this stuff is, as you can tell, it is just like liquid. And it comes out fairly quickly. So, okay, that's not a bad nude. Let's see how well it works. Okay, so like I said, this is the opposite of how I would normally do it, so I'll just try something new, I guess.
trying to keep it heavier towards the cuticle area. That's actually a very pretty nude. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in the lamp. And then I'm probably gonna come back with white again. Cause that's a little too much nude for me. So. I know this sounds crazy, but the acetone that I use, I get this at Walmart. It's not super expensive. And they almost always have it in stock. And I have found that it works a lot better than some of your expensive nail brands. Okay. Again, I'm just going to blow the air through until it comes out clear, just like that. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to wipe that down a little bit. Actually, let's try the pink. I said I was going to do white, but let's try pink. I want to see what this looks like. So it's just going to go over the white. Just for fun and games. Oh my. Okay. I'm going to put the cap on this. I don't need anything else carrying. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the paper towel. That is a pretty pink. Wow, okay, so I'm really impressed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. So that's what it looks like on the nude. Hold on here. This one's so blah. Let's come back in and do this one. Kind of the same way, if I have enough paint. And I do not. Okay. okay, so we'll cure those for 60 seconds and then we'll clean this little guy out.
So these paints, I like these. They're already, I mean, they're ready to go. You just put them in the, the little paint holder and then paint your nails. And it's, I don't know, it just seems like, uh-oh, is that it? Well, that didn't hold a charge very long. Well, that's not good. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside. I need to empty this acetone. I don't want it sitting in there. All right, so I hooked this up. It's got a little USB charger, and I poured the acetone out. So I want to get this to where I can just get that completely clean. I don't want to leave the paint in that, even though it won't cure without being, or it won't dry without being cured, but anyways. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna put a top coat. I wanna see how that looks. So I'm gonna use Enel Couture's Shiny. This is a no wipe top coat. I think that one's my favorite. I miss poor little guy, he's just a mishmash. And this one looks a lot better than the way it was because that gray I had made just a mess. But, I mean, for the most part, like I said, these paints are easy to use, so I'm glad I purchased them, and I'm hoping to add airbrushing to the menu. I need some more practice still. I mean, those stencils, they don't look too hard, but I gotta learn how to get those laid right so that I don't make a mess. But practice makes perfect, right? It's not something I've been doing. Oops, okay. And then I'll coat this one and I'm gonna put these in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I love how it's not, the polish or the, yeah, the gel polish, it's cured. It is not streaking at all. All right, so we'll get these in the lamp for 60 seconds and then, I'm gonna, Hopefully get that airbrush cleaned out. All right, so these are done curing, and these were fun. So just a little sample or a review. I don't know if you want to call it a review. Anyways, this is the Savvy Land. This is gel nail polish, airbrush. It's already diluted for you. It's super easy to use. Super easy to clean when your airbrush doesn't die, so <laughs> I'll get this little guy cleaned out here in just a second, hopefully. But if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will be back again shortly with another one. Cheers.